Jealous of people who can draw? Not for long. Today, you'll learn how to do it yourself. We'll teach you how to draw with dots, using a single line, with a compass, or even a comb. For our first work of art, take a sheet of paper and cut it into pieces. Choose a starting point for the drawing and use a felt tip pen to draw a line from it. Without lifting your hand, draw a teacup. Now, a knife and a fork. A pizza, a bathtub. Add an ice cream and cake, of course. What's a holiday without a martini glass? See, you can draw anything with one line. Try it, you can do it. Abstraction is good because it lets your imagination run wild. Brush several lines onto your paper. Use different colors, yellow, orange, red. Choose the colors you like. Don't think too much about where to put them. Now, take a piece of glass and put it on top of the picture. Press it down and slightly smear the paint. Remove the glass and carefully look at the blot. Use a pen to finish the drawing off with some details. A face, hands, and a dress. You drew a cute girl with pigtails. Sign the drawing. Make a few more. You'll never have to buy another greeting card. Shall we try to draw a portrait? Sketch it out with a pencil. Draw the contours of the face, the lips, and the hair. Take pencils and color the hair with light oblong lines of pink, purple, blue, and lilac colors. Shade in the contours with darker pencils and highlight individual strands. Color a barrette and the bangs. Paint over the face and neck with a skin-toned pigment. Make the grooves and contours a bit darker. When everything is finished, draw lips, eyebrows, a chin, and a nose bridge with a brown pencil. All we have to do now is frame the picture. What a beautiful portrait! And it was so much easier to draw than it seemed. Now you'll need three sheets of paper and markers in lots of different colors. Draw a chain of small circles with an orange marker. Draw identical rounded triangles similar to orange slices inside the circle. Add a curved line. Shade the space around the slices with yellow stripes. Go over the lines and draw the drop-shaped seeds. Fill the remaining free space in the slices with a pattern too. An orange is ready! Now, draw a big red triangle with a green bushy tail. It will be a strawberry. Inside, draw a smaller triangle with a pencil and dash the distance between them. Mark the middle and draw a pattern. All you have to do is color in the leaves and your cute strawberry is ready. Similarly, using only strokes, points, and curls, draw a kiwi and combine the pictures. Fruit salad! Yummy, yummy! For the next life hack, take a sheet of paper and some gouache. Dip your finger in the paint and leave multicolored prints on paper. And now the most interesting part. Take a pen and draw a funny face on each print. your signature. How quickly do you think your friends will find themselves in your funny little caricatures? Let's make the next drawing on a piece of notebook paper. Take a black marker and lines like these. Make several columns. Add diagonal segments to each block to get the arrows. Paint each column neatly in its color. Sharpen the edges with a pencil and make the arrows nicely shaded. Hmm, what direction to choose? And now, arm yourself with a black pen and a piece of paper. Draw a group of doodles. Make all kinds of funny little guys with whatever expressions you want. They can be anything, animals, or even baby berries and fruits. The lines are ready. It's time to burst out the pencils. Make the doodles colorful and bright. Your personal coloring book will relieve stress and tension from studying. 
and you will definitely smile more often. For this one, you'll need a square sheet of paper and markers. Draw a small closed chain in the middle. Draw the leaves around it and shade half of each one. Add another layer of leaves and go over the lines. A start has been made! Now you just have to draw each next layer of the ornament with a felt tip pen of a different color. Draw blue petals with curls and dots, and then green circles and lines. Add some light green lines and dots, then yellow. Let's make a red winding line and draw several droplets with dots inside the hollows, arcs, dots, check marks, drops, and circles. Add a little red, pink, and purple elements. Cut out the ornament. The result is a mandala, a sacred Buddha symbol used in their spiritual practices too. So bright and colorful. Now take a compass. Yes, you can create a masterpiece with it too. Draw a few circles of different diameters in contact with each other and intersecting each other. Use a pen to go over individual lines. Color the different areas to form a drawing. We've drawn a portrait. Continue to draw another picture. The original drawing can be seen in any set of circles. You can let your imagination run wild and come up with a masterpiece with just a few clarifying details. Like this, here's a whale swimming on the waves or a bird flying. You will definitely succeed. Just try it. Making a drawing with a comb? Sure, why not? Load up your brush with paint and make a few strokes in the center of the page. Spread the paint on the paper with a comb with fine teeth. Draw a rod. Change the colors of paint and repeat. What bird of paradise has lost these beautiful feathers? For this next lesson, you need a thick brush. Paint a triangle on a sheet of paper with water. Take acrylic paints and make strokes, only lightly touching the paper. The paint spreads through the water and you get beautiful stains with flowing transitions. To get a darker tone, you just need to add more paint. Add a yellow arc and a green arc. When the paint dries, add some black seeds and go over the lines. Draw a pair using the same method. Mmm, I'm getting hungry! Now we'll learn how to draw a flying man on a small piece of paper using just a pen. Cover the free space on the paper with dots. Put the dots in a chaotic order. Make them denser as they get closer to the ground. To give the illusion of movement, make the dots thicker and draw them more closely around the body. Add your imagination on the go. The appetite comes while drawing dots? Also, fill the drawing of a deer standing on a mountain with dots. Here, the dots look like wind gusts. Or you can draw a sunset reflected in the sea and a couple in love sitting on a bench. Monochrome drawings are very in. And now take all the markers that you have. Begin to draw from the bottom corner. First, draw a small droplet. Then, several arcs of larger size around it, which converge at one point. Draw the shells in rows, making them of different sizes and colors. Fill the entire page. At the end, shade the lower part of each shell using pencils of the corresponding color so that the drawing gets some depth. Now you can draw a beautiful shell pattern. Oh, I can practically hear the waves! Did you like our art lessons? Which idea will you try? Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell so you don't miss the next best art videos on Troom Troom Select.